You may or may not have heard that an Indian spacecraft made a historic landing on the moon this Wednesday. But what does this mean for science, South Asia, and the world overall? Let's break it down. Just days after a Russian lander faced a crash, India's success meant that scientists and their bosses could breathe again. But of course, it also established India's reputation, despite humble beginnings, as a frontrunner in the field of space exploration. Even Prime Minister Modi woke up to this remarkable achievement. This success belongs to all of humanity. However, this certainly isn't India's first venture beyond Earth. To infinity and beyond! And their spacecraft, named Chandrayaan-3, wasn't the first of its kind. As the name kind of suggests, there was a Chandrayaan-1 and 2. The first spacecraft under this name was India's first lunar probe, launched by the Indian Space Research Organization. Its goal was to map lunar chemistry and topography for two years, which it did until it ghosted everyone a year into the mission. Still, by its disconnection in August 2009, it made the significant discovery of water molecules in lunar soil. Excited at this small victory, ISRO scientists launched Chandrayaan-2 in July 2019, with similar goals that now included surveying water distribution. Unfortunately, this little guy crashed during its attempted landing in September 2019, leaving everyone in dismay. Except our own Fawad Chaudhary, of course. But Indian scientists were determined to continue. On July 14th of 2023, Chandrayaan-3 was launched with the intention of reaching the underexplored polar regions of the moon. And on August 23rd, it did exactly that by landing on the lunar South Pole and receiving recognition from around the world. Indian scientists are definitely thriving. But hey, we did send the Hubble telescope to space, at least according to Fawad Chaudhary. Uh, Durbin hai, jo ke, uh, ne bheji hai, jo satellite mein pe lagi hai. 